So, come to question number D, 3. So, question number 3, you have to sense the decimals. That means, sense into like decimals. So, first one is 54.8 and 6.11. So, 54.8 and 6.11. So, clearly, in the first case, after the decimal, there are only one digit. In the second case, after the decimal, there are two digits. That means they are clearly unlike decimals. Okay, so you have to form, you have to sense into like decimals. So, very simple. You just make the number of digits after the decimal in both cases equal. And how can it be possible? You just look at the uh, digits where the decimal, after the decimal, the digits are less. In this case, less. In this case, one digit. In this case, two digits. So, how many digits required? One. So, you just put a zero here. So, here, here, 54.8. You can write like 54.80. Why you put a zero here? Because in this case, after the decimal, there are two digits. So, you have to form, you have to make, in this case also, after the decimal, two digits. So, you just put a zero here. And now 6.11. Okay. So, therefore, 54.80 and 6.11 are like decimals. Okay. So, in this way, you can convert unlike decimals into like decimals. So next question, next question is what? 4.23 and 12.1. So B, 4.23 and 12.1. So 4.23 remains same. And 12.1. Only one digit, you have to form two digits. So you can write 12.10. Just add a zero there. So now, 4.23 and 12.10 are like decimals. Yeah, so in this way you, you can convert unlike decimal into like decimals.